Well, some are questioning the impact this strained relationship could have on policing across the city. Fox 45's Keith Daniels joins us live with the challenges when two of Baltimore's top elected officials aren't in lockstep. Keith? Well, Mary, first off, there's no question the number of homicides and shootings in the city is down. The mayor continuing to push that point. But Bates believes the city needs a mayor who's willing to tackle all crime. And tonight, Bates is speaking out publicly. In Baltimore City, controlling crime, notably quality of life offenses, including car thefts, disorderly intoxication, and aggressive panhandling. City State's Attorney Ivan Bates cracking down on those crimes, but saying now publicly, you can't do anything and be successful without relationships. He believes he does not have the backing of City Hall. No partnership with Mayor Brandon Scott in the fight against those crimes. That we just have two different philosophies in fighting crime. Doesn't mean anyone's a bad person, doesn't mean we don't get along. But however, the job that I was hired for, the philosophy that I espouse and put out there was holding people accountable for quality of life crime. Uh, he has not directly spoken to me or asked me or had raised any concerns about how BPD is operating. The and mayor on Bates with pushback. But with the city's top prosecutor and mayor, who is the police commissioner's boss, apparently at odds on this key enforcement issue, what could policing on the matter potentially look like? Attorney Euripsy Morgan. I think you've got to start looking at the state's attorney's office as more of a leader in this case. With her political perspective, weighs in on how BPD could navigate this ripple between the mayor and Bates. It's unfortunate because it almost feels like, you know, um, getting getting caught in the middle, you know, of two arguing sides or, or two differing factions here. But I think we have a very mature um, uh, police force that has simply been looking for a partner um, in doing the job that they are supposed to do, right? They are supposed to enforce the laws. Unfortunately, in the previous administration, it was just a contradiction. Well, Morgan, of course, referring to the previous city state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, and her controversial no prosecution policies of what she considered to be, quote, low level offenses. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.